Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are back here in uh, the grave, the cemetery outside uh, one of the lovely towns that we have. Uh, yeah, just, just outside Lindenville. Um, this is a Merry Widow contract, which I admittedly forgot I was doing. It's, very, it's a very RPG thing of me to do. Well, you know, I just just wandering into places and oh, all of a sudden, I, oh, I have a quest there. All right, anything in the actual main building itself? Because this is a pre horse blinders. Why is the horse blinders in in, in, a, in a in a chest in the middle of a cemetery? I don't know. It's it's beyond it's beyond all belief, isn't it? So apparently, someone's been stealing kids. And neither ghouls nor dogs do it, so who else has been up to no good? Graves been dug up recently. Smell of cadaverines old though. Overripe. Wonder where the stench will lead me. Oh god, are we following a scent? Follow the scent of cadaverine using our witcher senses. Interesting. Okay. Let's follow the scent, I suppose. I can't do that now. Well why not? There we go. Okay, so the so the scent is leading us this way. We have saved, so hopefully this won't end too badly for us. So we're going across this bridge. There, what is that down there? Is that a bear? I think it's a bear. Geralt, why? Why would you not just jump over? Why? Oh, can you not jump while using Witcher senses? Okay, that's fair. That's somewhat understandable. Somewhat. Uh, what else do we have? It's leading us to a hut. Which is curious. Knock, knock. Whatever filth lives here sure chose an unusual place for its lair. Ugh. Investigate the lair using our witcher Creature senses. Use tools. Means it's sapient, or just plain clever. A creature that uses tools. Somebody's doing some cooking. This. Oh no! A child. Human skulls in a magic circle. Monsters clearly using them, drawing strength from the place of power. Oh. A grave hag. A grave hag. Skulls to draw the power through them. Confidence grew enough; it started prowling the village. We need to take the skulls, force it to go back to the cemetery. I'll get it there. That ought to really piss it off. Now to lay low in the cemetery. It's likely to crawl out after dark. Put the skulls in the cemetery and wait for the grave hag to come. Right. I'm not gonna lie. This could go badly. Because like I say, this, this is a level 10 quest. So I'm taking a risk here. Like, you know, I'm I'm like, okay, let's, let's let's not let's not fall down the hill. Um Yeah, this is a level 10 quest, so fighting this grave hag may prove pretty treacherous. However, as per usual, we'll obviously save the game. And we'll just do what we can, I suppose. Uh Or do, we, or do we have to put the skulls inside the actual building? I think we do. Oh, look at you, you pretty thing. I don't I can't even begin to explain what that looks like. My skulls ought to dig up his own. There she is. Right on cue. Oh, it's Oh, it's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a tough fight. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ooh. Holy fuck. Let's take a swallow potion. Yeah, she can stun pretty quickly, can't she? I wonder, can I parry? I can. 
What the hell just happened there? I don't know what just happened, but we stunned her. Oh, oh. Stun her again. Whack, whack, whack. Ow. Come on. Okay, let's be careful. Let's be careful. Mm. Whack, whack, whack. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. We just gotta hit and run, basically, it seems to be the main. A fucking Mauntar, by the way. What a name. What a name. Right. One more little flurry should do it, I think. There we go. Take a trophy. Venom extract, grave hangs ear, add and death, add and death. Beautiful. You're damn right I'm, I, I'm taking my trophy. I've earned that. I think we handled that pretty well, you know. Like overall, I, yeah, I think I think we 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 did that quite well. That's that's a very nice silver sword, by the way. However, just doesn't seem it's quite as good. It, do, it does have three three enchantment slots. So, and you break it down like that, it might actually be better overall. Yeah, I'm going to use it, I think. I'm going to use that one, and I'm going to try and put some uh, sign intensity, chance to freeze, yep, yeah, sure. Um, and we'll, we'll get another one. Yeah, we'll get another one. So, we'll go and speak to the Gravedigger and get our reward for that. Uh, let's replenish shower. Ooh, careful. Careful new. Careful new. <laughs> what a straight what a strange reaction. You're about the job. And? It's taken She care did. Of. It was a grave hack that dug up the graves and snatched the child. Oi. So how is the little I toy? think we shouldn't talk about that. Uh, he's, yeah, he's, I wish I have to be honest, he's dead. Child's dead. Oh, tis as I thought. What about my reward? Oh, oh not forgotten, Geralt, babe. you, un oh, you heartless you bastard. Yourself. Thanks much for your help. Take care. So how much, how much gold, how much gold do we get from that? Like, I'm the heartless bastard now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's a lot of experience, nice. Oh, that was a that's a nice that's a nice reward. That I'll definitely take that. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Oh, these look at there. Yeah, look at these. Beautiful. After ridden the bones of the monster, Geralt collected a trophy from its body and went to the gravedigger for the promised bounty. And oh boy, did we get a bounty! Right, so we need to return to Dolores Reardon, don't we? Uh, that's something we need to do. Uh, return to Dolores. Let's go and do that. While we're here. Is this the village which has the blacksmith, actually? Come on now. It's not, is it? Oh, uh, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not, is it? I'm fairly sure it isn't. It is. Okay. I Don't pull your weapon out, Geralt. You fucking madman. I think the notice board these days. May it be known throughout the land that Bifron's a fool and allows who borrows yet never returns, respects no laws divine or human or rights roughshod of the virtue of maidens, may drowns pull him into a watery grave. Well he seems popular. Yep. Okay. Barkeep. Sorry, innkeep. Greetings. Greetings. With my uh, oh, another, another Commander Solon card, thank you. Um, a, a chicken. I'll buy two chickens. I like the food. I, I like the food. Buy one, buy one fish as well. Fare thee well. Farewell. Actually, you, you'll you take some junk, won't you? In, in, the, in the nicest way possible, I, I'm, I'm sure you'll take some junk. Uh, yeah, vials, pelts. 
Squirrel tail. Yeah, I don't. Actually, no, no, I'll I'll buy that back. I'll keep the squirrel tail. It seems rather important. Ashes. I'm selling ashes. Like it. Ugh, it. Does it get much worse than that? Actually, does it? Like selling sell, selling someone's ashes. It's pretty low overall, but um. Farewell. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. Right, Ooh. Dolores, are you here? Yes, you are. You've returned. What's become of my home? Oh, I've got I've got I've got some a bad tale for you. If it's she asks. Now. Got some hard news too, though. Found your brother's corpse bricked up in a wall, and this. So, Roderick, my husband, he killed him. Gods. Sorry. The truth can be cruel, but uh, one can't turn back time. And perchance, did you find my chest with my treasures? Yes. Yeah, pretty generous as rewards go. You've earned every last bit. Time I was on my way. Gods guide you. Well, I hope you can recover from that, Dolores, you poor woman. It's a hell of a hell, it's a hell of a truth to learn that, isn't it? How your husband killed your brother through sheer jealousy more than anything else. Oh, that was so. We we're only fifty six XP now of level seven, which is really really good. Really good. Um. And Dolores moved back into her family manor and lived there in peace and comfort to the end of her days. Ah, oh, see, it was, it was, it's kind of a happy ending for her. Not really, but y you know, you know what I mean. Okay, let's see what else we have to do. So we got, so we got, so we got a, a Jenny the Woods, which we can do probably a little bit later on. We got these two, which we can probably focus on the next, next two. So we can go back to Kiramet. Uh... Kira invited Geralt to stop by her hut sometime in a way that suggested she did not mean for an afternoon of tea and crumpets. That's... that's a shame. I'm not gonna lie, an afternoon of tea and crumpets with Kira Metz actually sounds kinda nice. It's... it sounds... sounds pleasant. Sounds... sounds rather enjoyable. You know, just to me anyway. Um... Right, yeah, let's uh... Let's ride over there. Let's ride over there in the middle in the in the middle of the night when it's pouring down with rain. That's definitely prime time for travel. Um, I'll run and check that place out before I do anything else. Uh, right after I save the game, of course. Because, you know, if, if if there's one thing one thing I can't resist, it's a big old question mark in an RPG. Right, yeah, running into these fields is inevitably going to end, end badly, isn't it? Right, I'm going to leave Roach a bit further back. There are cow corpses. Monster nest, yay! We got some more Damn cleansing to do. Ooh, some pretty hardy ghouls as well, by the looks of, by the looks of things. Nice. Oh, there are a few more here than what I anticipated. Actually, maybe we should Igni these fuckers. I'm not gonna lie. Ig Igni sounds quite useful against the Horde. Because it's uh, it's got a good spread in Igni, hasn't it? Ow. Like that. But yeah, that works. Right, keep on the attack. Ow. Swallow. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Finish him off. Good stuff, Geralt. Plenty of ghoul's blood for our uh, our collection. Not that I'm making a collection of ghoul's blood, that's just a bit weird. 
a bit strange, that, innit? It's lovely weird. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. Yes. Yes, you should. Yeah, you you you, you shouldn't even hesitate, I'm not gonna lie. I should get away from that. There we go. More ashes. Lovely. Okay, Roach. Go, go. Now that the wildlands are a little bit safer, let's go. Uh, let's go back to Kira. There's a chance we might run into more question marks on the way on the way there. To be honest, because because there there will inevitably be some that we just haven't discovered yet. Because I think they all get uncovered when you read the notice boards in like the sort of nearest town, or in a town anyway. Um, okay, apparently we should go this way instead. Fair enough. I will defer to... Right, so that's... That's the Bloody Baron's... That's the Bloody Baron's castle right there. We will go there at some point. It, 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 it's definitely on my to-do list. Especially if it's gonna help us in finding Siri. Oh, God. Okay, Roach. Let's go. Let's go for a little... A, li a little canter. Just a little canter. And let's go. Whoa. Uh, you okay? Help an old feeble woman. What's wrong with it? To their night blasphemers, pox taken, profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Her cows will croak. Kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. That sounds lovely. So hang on, though. If someone else vandalizes the shrine of someone, and then that person who the shrine is dedicated to will curse the people who had the shrine to begin with, and not the people who violated it. Warts that sounds fair. Mange. Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. Sounds like a, sounds like a, a fucking win-win situation for the people for the people who desecrated the place. Oh god, look at that thing! Look at that thing! Done. Was that all I needed to do? Gods have sent ye to me, someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher, restoring traditional roadside structures in wood. Just not my specialty. Yeah. Fight evil. That's a witcher's calling, and vandals are worse than beasts. That's debatable. I'll fix other shrines if I come across them. Fine. I see any damaged shrines, I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts, and the gods will guide ye. Hey, level seven. Beautiful. Got 10 XP for that. Defender of the Faith. Fix all the damaged shrines. Where are they, then? Very much to the south. Roger that. That's also a level 10 quest. Cool. Uh, okay, let's level ourselves up again. Can we level anything up? Just... In particular, or... Oh, 5 plus 5 attack power. Plus 5% attack power is quite good, to be fair. Although maybe not, I don't know. Hmm. What do we want? Because again, we can't really level any, level any of this shit up. Strength training? Yes, no. Put that one back on. What have we currently got equipped? Uh, yeah, let's put strength training in, in that slot there. Cool. We will focus on going to Kira, though. We're not going to do the Def Defender of the Faith quest just yet. Take it easy. Wait, did we not level up properly? 
Oh, we didn't actually upgrade it. We just we just put it in the slot. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, let's carry on. B Black bow. Have we? I don't think we've been here, have we? No, we haven't. And it's looking a little bit Run, Roach. guarded. Is there a reason this and place is slower? Are you okay? Baron's guard. Baron's henchman. Am I allowed oh. here? I don't even know if I'm allowed here. I think I'm allowed here. I don't seem to be getting attacked for no reason, so that's 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 a positive. Who Glenna? Who's Glenna? Not someone I can talk to right now. Yep, more uh, more flogging warnings. Did that? Did Did she just say when I grow up I want to be a lad? Interesting. Okay, so the next episode we'll we'll check out this village and see what the merchants have to offer, and then we will uh, carry on to go and see Kira. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you in the next episode of The Witcher 3. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.